my daughter and I did a little bit of school supply shopping for the first couple of months of the school year. So I'm gonna share with you what we got in today's video. So stick around. All right, so in my last video, I shared with you guys our spine, our main curriculum, which is God's design for life. And I'm going to share with you some of the supplies we got for the first couple of months. But some of these supplies are also for the unit study that we are going to be adding in to kind of pair with the spine. And I just want you guys to write your guesses down in the comments to see if you can figure out what unit study we might be pairing with either the human body or the world of animals. Um, let's see. First thing we got, model magic. Okay. I got this small little box. Honestly, I was going to get kind of a bigger box, but it, it was like 20 bucks for a big box. And I'm like, realistically... We probably don't need that considering I also got Play-Doh <laughs> and my daughter actually prefers Play-Doh to um, the Model Magic. So we have these. I have had to hold her off on opening the Play-Doh because it's for school um, and she really kind of needs some more just to play with, but this is for school. So um, that is one of the other things we bought. Let's see, magnifying glass, can never, can never go wrong with magnifying glass, but we needed that. Um, let's save that for last. Hmm. Uh, I needed a new whiteout. The one I had was from when I worked in, like I worked outside of the house and that was eight years ago or something. Um, and so it was time for a new whiteout. So I went ahead and grabbed that. Um, new lead for mechanical pencils because I prefer a mechanical pencil and sometimes my daughter will use them because they're cool and fun to use. All right next felt. <laughs> I couldn't remember what we needed felt for or like what activity we were doing with it. Um, so I don't know if purple will work for what we what we need, but I just grabbed this at um, the Dollar Tree. So if I need to go grab different colors for whatever the activity is, then I can. And we'll just have an extra roll of purple felt uh, to go along with that purple and pink sequins. Um, again, I don't remember exactly what these are for. So hopefully purple and pink work, but same thing. Grab these from the Dollar Tree. And last but not least, Dollar Tree feathers. So, and also there's like little pieces of confetti in there, it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. Not really, but there's like, oh, maybe right there. So that's gonna be really fun. Um, so we got feathers. Uh, let's, let's go. Um, what are these? Styrofoam balls. Got three of those. It called for three. The, the supply list said we needed three. Hopefully these are the right size. I really don't know, but we're going to go with it. A little bunny rabbit and a little puppy dog. So, um, we had to grab these because they go to one of the things that we will need. So, there's another hint if you're going to put in your guesses on what, what unit you think we're doing. Uh, okay, and then next we needed a new watercolor set. This works really well. I just grabbed this from Walmart. It's not anything super fancy, but it is a little step up from like the Crayola um, watercolors, which really give you maybe it's like eight or ten colors. This gives you a little bit more options, so it's a little bit of a a little bit better, but still not, you know, not super expensive. Um, all right, you ready for another hint? I don't know if this is going to help or hurt your um, decision making, but a stethoscope. Grabbed this from Walmart. All right, last couple of things here. Some tab dividers. 
in all honesty, I don't know that we're going to end up using these. Um, after looking over a couple of things, I don't think we're going to need them, but it's not bad to have them. And actually these are really nice because it, it gives you a, um, table of contents page, I think. And then on each one of the tabs, you can actually write what that tab is. See how you can see it there. So actually really cool if you're needing something. And this is a pack of 12, which is not very common. Um, so yeah, if you need tab dividers and you need a lot of them, this is a really good one. I grabbed this from Walmart also. Um, I got these like little writable sticky tab things. And then these, so I have actually um, kind of started working on our notebooks. Um, but before I really finished them, I, oh, I wanted to show them to you. My daughter and I created this fun little, um, page for her, but see how it hangs over. So I've got to do a little bit of trimming there. And then it, they're just blank notebooks. Um, the pages are, I don't know if you can see there. Yeah, they're perforated, which makes them really easy. If we need to pull anything out, I like that it's spiral. The back is a hard back. And then of course I like the, um, the little front. Well, you know, you can take this in and out, right? So you can put a fun little cover in there. I think they were, I think it's a 70 pages maybe. And again, I grabbed this at Walmart. It's like three or four bucks. And I actually got two of those. So this is the actual cover of the front. We just took out like the, um, you know, like the description page because we made those cover sheets. Um, so those are those two notebooks. That's all we got for supplies to just kind of get us going to get into the rhythm of things. And I'm actually going to be setting up our notebooks next. And so I will record that for you guys. So next week's video is actually going to be the setup of our notebooks and kind of what I have planned, how I'm using the tabs, all of that kind of stuff. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can check that video out. Also next week is the made to homeschool live hangout. If you have not, uh, joined that and gotten, well, the links haven't been sent out yet, but if you have not joined the email list to get the exclusive link for the hangout, I will have that down in the description for you as well. It's just going to be a hangout. So there's going to be several contributors there. Their founders of Made to Homeschool will be there and we're just going to be chit-chatting, answering questions, hanging out, all that stuff. That's next Thursday, the 29th at 3 p.m. Again, the link is down in the description, but that is it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.